Hi there, welcome to Quick Schools. Today I'd like to give you guys a quick guide um, using the teacher's portal. The first thing you'll need is an invitation to access your Quick Schools account. So you should receive a link with your username and password. If you haven't received this yet, please uh, talk to your administrator to get access. So every school gets their own little URL. Uh, be sure to bookmark uh, your link to Quick Schools so that you have uh, a reference to it moving forward. If you so happen to forget your password, you can click on the Forgot Your Password link. So all you need to do is put in your email address, request your password reset, and the system will send you a link on how to reset your password. If you need help uh, in any situation, just click on the Got a Question widget on the lower right corner and type in your question. So let's go ahead and log in. So the first thing you'll see on your login is the Teacher's Lounge. This is your home page. And what this is, is a wall where you can share information with other teachers. So you could post something in here like, what do you guys think about Quick Schools? You can post images, upload files, and share files with other teachers. So feel free to keep this light. Uh, you can share news, um, recent events, and so on. So let's go through a few of these menus. We've got here the teachers link, where you can see a list of teachers. You can click through these records and view some detail about uh, that particular teacher. We have the same thing under students. So here we have all the student records, again we've got the video, we've got the uh, help link on the top right corner, and we've got the uh, live chat support if you have any questions. Clicking on the student brings up their record, and again you can peruse through these uh, in terms of the what's available for the student. If you're taking attendance, click on the attendance link, click on take attendance, it will bring up your roster for the day or for the period. Everyone's uh, usually set to present by default, and you can specify whether a certain student is absent or tardy. You can click on this Add Remark link and indicate you know what happened that day. So maybe in this case, Alvin was not feeling well and left at the first period. You can also go back to previous days if you forgot to take attendance for a previous day. And if you click on this Details link, it'll bring up a calendar view of all the attendance taken to date. So, you know, you're welcome to check out uh, the attendance record for the student if need be, and mouse over these cells for more details. We have a discipline menu. So here you can record incidences that happen at the school, select which student um, is involved in the incident, give, it de uh, give some details. Let's say Elvin, let's say Elvin was disruptive in class. Um, the, these drop downs will be preset by your administrator. You can assign a certain number of demerits and you can describe the action taken. Let's say Elvin was sent to the principal's office. You can attach files. Uh, they may, there may be additional fields here if your administrator have, has set it up for you. And you can also send out uh, email notifications to the parent about uh, the uh, uh, about the uh, incident. Let's check out the gradebook. So here we have you know you can select a subject that you're teaching. Hopefully these will be pre-populated for you. If you need to create new subjects or uh, add or remove students from your subjects, you can do that under the subjects menu. So under subjects, you can add new subjects. You can um, change the students who are enrolled in those subjects. Uh, you can also reassign subjects to other teachers. Let's go back to gradebook. So you can add new columns. So let's say we had a test today. You can specify a category. Uh, your administrator can set up additional categories as needed. 
So here's my new test and I can specify some marks. And then you have the final grade right here which you can uh, adjust. So for example maybe my final grade should have multiple weight factors. Maybe assignments can be 60%, quizzes can be 30%, and tests can be 10%. Update that and now that's my new final grade. We also support comments. So in the gradebook, I can click on this link and add some comments that I may want to share with my parents. So in this case, maybe I can mention that Alvin needs to work on his long division. And maybe as a private comment, just for myself, I can state Alvin was very tired in class today. Save those comments. So you, you'll see the cell with this blue bubble when you mouse over it, you can see whatever comments have been saved for that uh, for that cell, and you can click on it to make changes as well. So again, if you need help with anything, we've got the video tutorials, we've got the help link, and we've got the chat. So feel free to chat in with any questions. So your gradebook is designed to keep track of your daily uh, assign assignments and assessments. So you're welcome to use this on a regular basis. And then at the end of the term, you want to uh, put in your report cards. So your administrator will set up um, the report cards at the end of the term, or however often you guys produce your report cards. Um, again, be sure you're selecting the correct marking period. You have two ways of entering grades. So if you're a homeroom teacher, you can click on one of these students. It brings up the report cards for that marking period. If you're using the gradebook, it'll auto automatically pick up the final grade from the gradebook. And if you're not using the gradebook, you can click into these and type in your assessments. So it's all about clicking in and typing in your changes. So you can even include comments here as well. All right. The other way of submitting grades is through the subject-based screen. So I can select a subject that I'm teaching. It will load up the grading criteria for that marking period. So in this case, marks, grades, and comments. Uh, if I'm using the gradebook, it picks it up automatically. And whatever I save here gets um, reflected back into the main report cards. Now this screen is dynamic. Depending on uh, what the school has set up for you, you may have additional columns here as well. And uh, that's pretty much it. At the end of the marking period, your report cards will get locked by your administrator, after which your parents uh, will be able to review all the report cards. Let's go to the next menu, Class Discussions. This is a way for you to communicate with parents in a group setting uh, for individual subjects that you may be teaching. So in this example, for the English class, I've indicated to my parents that there's a spring break, and I hope that they uh, hand in the permission slips and we have a response here from one of the parents. Let's select another subject. So I can post new messages here. Please make sure your child brings in a special object to measure in class. So when you send out a message to parents, uh, you can include an email notification to parents if it's something important, or you can just post the message passively. So you know you could use this to record what happened during the day so parents can be involved um, and in the know in terms of what goes on in the classroom. The next menu is homework. So here you can attach homework assignments to be sent home um, via the parent portal. You can set a due date so parents know when they're due parents will be able to access this from their parent portal. There are a few other menus available to you across the top right. We've got the uh, settings page. Here we can review uh, available modules that the uh, school has enabled. We have a profile page here where you can change your password. And uh, if the school has turned on some alerts, you can enable alerts for yourself as well. Uh, and here, this counter here is for notifications. So if someone responds to your class discussions, for example, 
you may see a notification here. The last thing I'm going to mention is this bubble on the top right corner next to your login name. When you click on this, uh, you have access to the private message module. So this is a way to communicate one-to-one -one with uh, other teachers or with parents. So I can select parent here, say Mr. De Silva, and let's ask the parent, please come see me after school today to discuss how things progress. So when you send out new messages, you have a thread here and parents can respond either via email or through the parent portal. Uh, when they respond to you, you will receive an email notification as well, so you are able to respond via email, or you can just log into your Clicksus account and respond from here as well. That pretty much covers the basic features of the teacher portal. Be sure to log off when you're done. And again, please chat in if you have any additional questions.